everyone and welcome to Roller Skills. My name is Daniel Lockwood and I'm a professional roller skater, creator and coach. Today's video is all about how to change your toe stops and when it might be a good idea to do so. So I actually hate having to change my toe stops, complete honesty. Um, but yeah, it is a very sad, sad day when I have hit the metal on my toe stop and I'm forced into the decision of having to actually get new ones or change them. That day has come and I thought it would be rude not to document it so it is kind of an unplanned video but I thought it would be really nice to share with you all. So I have my black skates here and these are the ones that need changing. Uh, I wear these all the time literally every single day um, and yeah these are my most loved skates. I will be doing a full video uh, dedicated to these um, so yeah watch out for that. If you haven't already seen the first video in my little uh, skate collection series which is these ones here, my nice silver ones, then please go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah so as I said uh, I've been forced into this decision because I have literally hit the metal on this toe stop. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer. It becomes quite dangerous when you hit the metal and of course it can start to ruin floors and um, yeah, start to be a little bit less comfortable. So when to know to change your toe stops is for sure if they hit the metal like these ones have on these type of toe stops. Um, also, if you just feel like they're so worn down that you don't feel the security and safety anymore. It is very common for one of them to be way more worn down than another. Um, for example, I'm not changing my left toe stop today, I'm only doing my right. Um, I'm going to show you how to change these ones specifically uh, with this plate, which is a little bit different to some other skates. But I'm also going to show you how to do it on a different pair of skates um, in case you have uh, that type of plate as well. So the reason I hate changing my toe stop so much is because you obviously gradually get used to it wearing down. So it's now a point that um, I have started to notice that, oh, I'm really having to go way further over to find my toe stop. But at the same time, I know that as soon as a bigger toe stop is put on, I'm gonna be like, whoa, there's my toe stop. <laughs> so it is gonna take some getting used to and it's just me not liking to have to get used to it again because I'm just so comfortable with exactly where it is. So this particular plate does have a little allen key hole so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this which basically creates space here for us to unscrew the toe stop. I'm going to use a tool like this which is so handy, you guys might have one like this too. So the allen key uh, size is 5 millimeters. So the last time I did this I also decided to document it but on my Instagram story and you guys, it was pretty traumatic. If any of you remember this, please comment down below. Um, but I'd not changed my toe stop on this skate for, I don't know, maybe a year or so. And I didn't realize how tight the plate got. It did not want to loosen. And I swear I was fighting with my skate. And I genuinely thought at one point that I was gonna break the plate because I was going for it, like sitting on my skate, like doing everything I could to loosen it. Um, and obviously it's probably my own fault because the last time I would have done it, I would have done it up so tight because I have a bit of a complex about my toe stops falling out. I do not want that to happen. It's not a pleasant thing to happen. So um, yeah, you obviously want to make sure they're super tight, but they were extremely tight. And I think in the process, I must have broken about four Allen keys because you know how obviously when you're um, when you're trying to turn it, but then it's not turning, it's just going around in the hole and then it doesn't have any grip anymore, you know? Which is why one of these tools is perfect because it's way more grip and it's way easier to do than just one that's uh, on a stick by itself, which is what I was using. Anyway, so five millimeters, it's going in here. And of course we're gonna do a little lefty loosey. Again, I'm a bit nervous to do this because I haven't done this in a really long time. So I don't know how tight or loose they are. And the thing is with this plate is you do hear a click which can be, there you go. Did you hear that? I was gonna say, which can be quite scary because you think that you might have broken it, but, oh, that was so much easier than last time. <laughs> I feel so relieved. So it doesn't need to be um, unscrewed the whole way. Um, it's just enough for you to then be able to unscrew your toe stop like this. So I'm just gonna 
take it out <laughs> once it's out i'll show you inside as well Ooh, so you can see what it looks like didn't expect that to fall um so yeah if you're interested in skating without toe stops this is where you would put like a little jam plug in there which is the same you just screw it in screw it out as as and when you want um so what i'm gonna do to replace this one is I am going to replace it with one from my silver skates that I never wear. So I haven't worn these in a long time, but as you can see, they are much, much, much less worn down. But even though this one isn't brand new, it is still uh, kind of new-ish and it definitely has a lot of wear time. So I'm gonna be changing it to this so that then I don't have to deal with a fully new one because I honestly, I hate doing that so much. Just lining them up so that you can see the difference in like the wear time. I think they're lined up, but um, yeah, it's quite a big difference. So that is why I will be switching them over. So again, I'm gonna be getting my Allen key to get this one out. I hope this one isn't that stiff. No, oh, that one was really loose. Easy, easy peasy. That one didn't even click. Amazing. So um, as you can see, uh, you can see this little slope here. So when I screw that back in, I'm gonna want that to be on the inside part of my boot to the diagonal. Does that make sense? Here we go, new toe stop incoming. Ooh. I'm like excited, but I'm not. It's one of those where I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to, not scrape the metal on the floor and feel safe again but i'm like oh it's gonna feel so weird <laughs> oh i just need to loosen this a tiny bit more because it's not super easy to screw in right now so i'm just gonna loosen that a little bit more so that i can screw this in a little bit better you forget how big the screw actually is and how far it goes into the plate so i also like to screw mine in all the way some people like it a little bit more stuck out some people are like me and like it to be as far in as it can possibly go and that honestly is just totally personal preference i feel like i can do more with it closer to my plate um, i'm also not someone who wants to take my toe stops out so the more they can kind of be inwards so that i can do everything i need to do the better cool so i think i can get one more rotation out of it <laughs> one more uh, no okay so i've screwed it in the whole way but as you can see that bit that's worn down here um i'm gonna want to be on the front diagonal inner part of my boot so i could leave it like this so that then i can wear it down from scratch but you know me i don't want to do that so yeah i'm not sure how best to show you this but that is how i've kind of lined it up do you see so then I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it again. And I'm gonna make sure it is super tight, tight enough that it definitely won't fall out, but not too tight that next time I wanna change them that I can't loosen it. So yeah, I'm gonna do it until it's quite hard to, yeah, I think that will do. So there we go, I have one new well not new but fresh toe stop ready to go for the next time that i'm filming coaching skating doing my thing um yeah how exciting and that does mean i'm gonna have to put the old one <laughs> into this one i really do just need to get some um new replacements uh but for the meantime i know that i won't be skating in these so it's safe there um and yeah i mean it probably could just go in the bin <laughs> but I just feel like I need something on these ones because um, it looks weird without them. So the other really common way to change your toe stops is with a toe stop like this. So as you can see, there is a bolt here um, and that is how we are going to tighten and loosen this toe stop. So you're gonna want some sort of spanner. Again, this is a little skate tool, which I find really, really handy and useful but any spanner will do as long as it is the right measurements. It doesn't say, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out um, depending on what skates it is that you have and what bolt size it is. Um, so I'm gonna grab the spanner and again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, if I just tighten that? <laughs> I just tightened it. No, I <laughs> don't wanna do that. So 
You probably could do this a little bit more officially by uh, clamping your skate or making it secure in some way. You could probably even just pop it in between your legs like this. I think I'm gonna do that for the sake of this right now. And I'm going to loosen what I've just done. I can't believe I just tightened it. And there we go, that was nice and easy. Um, so then when I take out the toaster, like this, you're gonna go all the way. Just be careful, is this called a washer? I feel like this little, that little bit there next to the bolt, is that called a washer? Please let me know in the comments below. I think yes, but like I said, I'm not a technician. Um, okay, cool, so here we go. This is uh, our toaster, and that is the little hole. So again, when you're changing your toe stops with these ones, really simple. Um, and again, if you did want to have them uh, slightly further out, slightly further in, this is where you can adjust where the bolt sits on the screw. So for example, right now, mine is right next to the actual toe stop, which is where I like it to be. But if you would like your toe stops out a little bit further, then you could, for example, do this so there's a gap there and then you could screw it in, and then where the bolt is, that kind of acts as like, uh, it kind of stops, so you could leave a gap here and screw the bolt in tight to the plate, and then it would leave it out. Do you, does that make sense? Um, again, personal preference, not wrong, not right, just whatever it is that you prefer. So I'm gonna um, just do it back to how I would normally do it. So I'm gonna want the bolt to be as close to my toe stop as possible. And then I'm just gonna screw it all the way back in. And the same way we loosened it, we're gonna grab our spanner and tighten it to the right. And you want it to be tight enough for you not to be able to unscrew it with your hands. If you can, then that can become dangerous. So just be very, very wary. So something worth mentioning is that when your skates come, if they are brand new, it's most likely that they will not be to your personal preference. And if you are new to skating and you're not sure what you like, this is your time for trial and error, start experimenting, see whether or not you like them a bit out, a little bit in. Um, and also just remember that skates are there to be adjusted if necessary so just because that is the way that they've come in the box doesn't mean that that is the way that they have to stay if you are in the uk or the us i do actually have an amazon uh, storefront where i've put some roller skate essentials idea lists where you can uh, purchase some tools some toe stops um yeah, loads of other things, but obviously in the theme of this video, those two in particular. So if you are looking to get any of those, then I will link them in the description below for you to go and check out. As we're on the topic of toe stops, please, please, please do not feel pressured to take them out at any point in your skate journey if you don't want to or if you are not ready to. Uh, I've seen beginners be told that they can't level up and that they won't be advanced skaters if they don't take out their toe stops and that is something that is just simply not true i completely admire jam skaters for skating without them and for doing everything that they can do and some moves and skills are of course a little bit easier without your toe stops being in the way but it doesn't mean that you can't do what they can do just because you have toe stops. And that, honestly, I feel like is my personal mission <laughs> to prove. It's simply about learning to deal with the space that you have in between your toe stop and the floor. And once you have really nailed that, then there really isn't anything that should stop you from doing anything that you want to do. I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to change your toe stops, when to change them, and just generally listening to me ramble on about toe stops. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, I do have full online classes and tutorials over on the Patreon. I will link it below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all more than you can possibly know. I will see you in the next one.